Well, hello. Guess what? I'm back in the Cairngorms. We were only here two weeks ago with the Tarmigan Mountaineering bus. This time we've come up ourselves for some wild camping. We're meant to be going west up to the Flowerdale Corbett's near Gaylock, but it's just the uh, weather was looking much better in east, so me, Kevin, Stevie decided to head back to the Gorms. So we parked in the, the Sugar Bowl car park, currently in the Calamine Gap at the moment. There's Stevie and Kev, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to camp up somewhere off Ben McDewey, maybe the, the top Carnichkin, and get that classic view up um, up from uh, Carnichkin down to Loch, Loch Ann. And uh, tomorrow we're going to drop down into the Larry Gru and head up to uh, Cairn Tool and do the traverse over to Berwick. And then um, Saturday night we've left open, so we don't know what we're going to do. Uh, we'll just see how that pans out tomorrow. We've just been going um, two hours and ten minutes now and uh, I've reached the summit of Lutcher's Crag. Now, Lutcher's Crag is not a Munro but it is a Munro top and uh, if you're doing the Larry Gru, it guards the entrance of the West End and uh, it's quite craggy when you're looking up from below. And at the moment I've got nice views looking east, uh, back down the Larry Gru towards uh, Derry Lodge and all that. That's us uh, back on the main path up to Ben McDowell now. It's a really nice day. Tad windy, but that's keeping us nice and cool. Currently the second highest man in Britain. That is of course assuming there's only one person on Ben Nevis right now. So it took us um, four and a half hours to get up to the summit from the Sugar Bowl car park. Now we're just going to have to uh, head down there somewhere, find somewhere to camp now. But there's plenty of time. There's a little um, snow bunting, so if you're coming up here, bring some bird seed and you might get a little snow bunting coming up for some tip bits. We're on Can Etchikin now. I'm just looking right down Loch Ann. I'll show you right now. So there you go, there's Loch Ann. There's Ben Vane. Cairn Gorm. And if you watched my Cairn Gorm video for two weeks ago, me and Kevin were just over there filming for there, looking down. We couldn't quite get the full view. I reckon for that classic Colin Pryor photo, I reckon he was over there somewhere, maybe down that little point there. So we might go there after we strike camp. But for now, I reckon we need to get the tents up, boys. Yeah, should we do that? Thank you. Tents up, scramble. Let's go. Ah, so I can relax, I found a pitch, and so is Kevin and Big Stevie. What I'll do is I'll just. Uh, take you around and have a look at our campsite. I think we're all kind of chuffed with it. So here is the trail start. Kev Zephros. Stevie's got an acto. Right Stevie? What's for tea? Noodles and eight, mate. Noodles will maybe a bit or some pepperonis in there. So after we all got fed and watered, we went a, a wander 
Um, we went up up to the big snow patch there and um, we discovered the, um, the snow tunnel that's getting formed at the moment. I think it's the one that was uh, featured on the one show with Ian Cameron. So you can see in another couple of weeks, few weeks, this is going to haul out even more. You can see a snow melt and it's carving nicely. I could get a bit further down but I'd get absolutely soaked. Well, it's 11 o'clock so <clears throat> all three of us have retired back to our tents. Um, And here's Kev singing, I don't know if the microphone's picking it up. <laughs> Can you hear that? He probably knows I'm recording, so he's been wide and hoping, hoping it puts me off my stride recording, which it has. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> I'm going to shoot off to bed now. Um, see you in the morning, see what it looks like. Good night. Oh. Oh, good morning campers. Oh, sun's pouring into the tap here. Oh. oh, it's looking good out there. It's um, 25 to 7. I'm going to get up because it's looking good. Oh. Well, the wind's picked up ever so slightly. But that's us packing up to go now. So there's Cairn Tool, the Angel's Peak, Stevie and Brerich. So this is us uh, heading down into the Larry Grew. Looks doable on the map. Um, contours are spaced out enough, but it will be a, a sustained Descent down, bit of a knee jerker. Got a nice view to keep us occupied. Well, half an hour later, and 500 metres of descent, we're down at 700 metres in the Larry Grew. We're just heading to Karoor Boffy now. It was quite an easy descent, it wasn't too bad at all. It's weird though. Been up at the second highest Munro yesterday. Now we're absolutely dwarfed by all the Cairngorm giants, but we'll be back up there soon. So we're just heading to Karoor Boffy, not to be mistaken for Karoor Station. No trains pass through here, although some Boffy users think there's a, a bin lorry service. We'll leave the rubbish behind. Anyway, there's the Devil's Winky. Cairn Tool, that big one at the back there. And the Larry Grew, stretching west. And then there's Ben McDewey. And Carmavame, just above us. So we'll do a wee tour of the Boffy. It's a single room Boffy. It does have toilets on the side though. And they say they're the most remote toilets in Scotland. So we'll check that out in a minute. So here we go. Career Boffy. Hi there. You already been in this video, eh? It's a bit dark. Is there somebody here? Many of you were in here last night. Alright, we didn't stay last night. Alright. And we'll be able to see in the video, but there's a sleeping platform there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. And sleeping there. I'll leave you to it, mate. Here is the most remote toilet in Scotland. It's 
smells a bit fresh in here. <laughs> Right, after a little rest, we're going up there. So I'm up between Cairn Tool and the Devil's Point. This is where I had my very first proper wild camp. I think it was 2011. I sold my camper van and uh, with some of the proceeds I went out and bought myself a, a Hilleberg Acto tent. And I was pitched around about here somewhere. So I've been up the Devil's Point twice, so I'm going to give that a miss. I'm going to try and find a little sheltered spot and uh, just have a wee rest. There he goes, up the Devil's Winky. Just chilling now, enjoying. I reckon it'll take him half an hour. He set off at five past twelve. We'll see what time he comes back at. What do you reckon, Kev? Fifteen minutes up, ten doing or something? Twenty-five minutes. Even up there. Yeah. Up there. I'm gonna dip my feet in that lovely cool water there. Oh yeah, that's magic. Oh yeah. Oh, it's cold. What a copy, Kai. Oh. How was it, Stevie? That was good. And I went up there, nice views. Aye, cracking. Do you want to know how long it took you? Half an hour. Bang on, mate. Uh, Half an hour on the notes. Half an hour. So we've reached the, the minor unnamed top just there and the rest of the route is laid out in front of us. So right there you've got Cairn Tool, just in the centre of the camera you've got the Angel's Peak and then the huge plateau of Bray Reek lies behind that and I think the summit must just be over there and you've got that long uh, walk around the quarry if I remember rightly. It's been a while since I've been up here and it was in the clag so uh, it's good to get a view this time. These are, of course, three of the five highest Munros. I think Bray Reek's third highest, Cairn Tool fourth, and then Angel's Peak fifth, if I remember rightly. So, they're big beasties, these ones. We just stumbled upon a, a Munro completion party. Oh, did you? Uh, she's uh, the chap's wife there. Oh, She's right. completing on this one here. The Angel's Peak. Oh, good. It's over there, it's uh, Angel's, Angel's Peak Ridge. The northeast ridge. How Comes, did you find it? I found it uh, oh, at Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, how did you find it on the ridge? <laughs> it was fine. Yeah, it was good. The scramble. Uh, it's supposed to be a grade two, and I would say the bottom's probably not that, but the top's probably is a grade two. Uh, come up from the Bothy down there at the rebuilding. Cool, thanks very much. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> So this is the top of the Angel Ridge that I was just speaking to the lady. Anyway, I'm not going to go down too far, but I'll give you a quick look. Looks good. One for another time. So, I'm on the um, Breedick Plateau, and I have to say, I'm in absolute awe of this place. I was last up here in 2011, I think it was, and um, I was in the Clag, so I didn't quite appreciate the grand scale of the area that this mountain covers. It's absolutely huge, it's amazing. I can't believe it, it's just, I'll be honest, I can navigate by a compass, I can pace, but I would struggle up here. I really would, uh, and Phil Weller and Zero Viz, it's so featureless, it's, um, don't get me wrong, I like narrow ridges and all that, but when I look around, th this is amazing, it's just, I can't, I, can't, I can't quite put words on it, it's just, 
It's just so vast, you could put a small city up here and you still have room. I'm on the summit of Bray Reek, which at 1,296 metres makes it the third highest mountain in the UK. Anyway, that wind's really picking up. It was actually starting buffing for the first time today. So we're going to scarper off this mountain and we're going to try and find somewhere shelter to camp. Face of fatigue. We've been going just over 11 hours and we've been hiking through Rocky Marcus Forest. We're almost at Avi Moor and then we find this. Look at this. First lush bit of grass we've seen for ages. There's hardly a wind. What a cracking spot. Time to get set up. <clears throat> Honestly, I cannot begin to tell you how the three of us are all chuffed to have finally found somewhere to pitch up and call home for the night because I think we are all giving up hope it was looking like we were going to end up in Aviemore before we found somewhere but um, we've pitched up just before you reach the Cairngorm Club Bridge so um, we're here for the night, we're happy and uh, we're all just getting tea sorted out Ah uh, yes, that's music to my ears I am starving Let's try not to burn myself here Well it's um, It's nearly 11 o'clock so I'm absolutely shattered after that big day today so I'm calling it a night Oh uh, yeah Catch us in the morning Wait up. Good morning campers. Oh. oh it's quarter past seven. Suppose if we like to get down the road quicker, meet you up shortly. Wasn't too bad to sleep, the usual. It disturbed with the wind and then there was a bit of rain. Then there was an owl, which I don't mind. Mm. I suppose we better get going. That's everybody up now. Just breaking camp. Well, apart from the wind, that was an alright camp last night. Just going to walk back to the car now. We have to walk up to uh, Loch Morlock, and then the car's up at the Sugar Bowl. So I think that leaves us four or five kilometres. Walk up the road. Might do the old fun. See if I can hitch a lift back. If not, it's not that far to walk. And we get back to Avimo. Bacon roll and a cup of tea is order of the day. I think. Anyway. Hope you've enjoyed this video and adventure into the Cairngorms. Any comments or questions, just drop them down below in the comments box. Give us a like and a subscribe too, please. Catch you later.